Some of my favorite games of all time were entirely single player. And so I've spent the past 48 hours finding the top 15 upcoming single player games of 2022. Number 15, Fort Solus, a story driven action sci-fi game, of course, set in space on Mars. You're forced to repair your damaged spaceship all while trying to actually defend it from extraterrestrial life. This game looks really promising. Number 14, Bleak Faith Forsaken, an RPG open world game with tons of mystery. I love these medieval games that create immersive atmospheres without even doing too much. Tons of different paths to take in the game too, as well as classes to choose from, and on top of all of that, every choice you take is completely reversible. Now that could be a bad thing, but I think it just makes it a little bit easier to truly get the ending you actually want. Number 13, Terra Nil. A different kind of game for these lists, as it uses a top-down camera angle instead of the generic first or third person POV, but the graphics on this one just hit different for for whatever reason. Alongside the fact that instead of actually building, you deconstruct in this game. A simple idea, but if done right, could be super fun to try. Number 12, Starfield. Made by the iconic Bethesda Studios, this RPG open world game will once again be set in space. But this time it focuses mostly on building and exploration of the numerous different worlds that you can find around you. It's set in the year 2330, hence how humanity has now inhabited areas beyond our solar system. You'll also be mining valuables out of meteors you find and discovering rare artifacts along with the occasional dangerous interaction on one of those deadly planets. Bethesda are obviously really good at hyping their games up, that's no secret, but hopefully this will actually live up to the hype. Number 11, Forever Skies, a sci-fi survival game focused on thriving in a drastically different planet Earth. Your homestead is an airship, which you can actually expand, rebuild, and personalize. Your goal, so to speak, is to cure a mysterious illness which has apparently plagued the planet and left you alone to save it. It's an interesting concept and the graphics are something to say the least. What I like about this game though is the development team and the constant transparency they provide to their community. I just love this level of sci-fi and I hope the game doesn't disappoint. Number 10, The Wandering Village. The top-down camera makes its return once again with a game that might not be for everyone but it just seems pretty unique. The camera is really flexible it looks like and the graphics intrigue me especially the dragon that's literally turned into an island. Poor guy, man. But seriously, set on a planet with mysterious toxic spores, your goal is to seek shelter on the back of that dragon we mentioned earlier. There are numerous different biomes for you to discover and build in, technology for you to research, and toxic wastelands for you to probably avoid. They even mentioned on their Steam page that Frostpunk, Timberborn, and Airborne Kingdom all inspired this game. And that's some cool honesty. Number 9, Timesha, an action RPG game focused mostly on combat. You'll play as Corvus and you'll spend most of your time preying on your enemies, using disease as your weapon and finding the truth behind your memories. A bit of a mind-bending one, but lots to uncover for sure. It's another medieval game but with many twists. The entire story is actually based on Corvus, who you'll obviously play as, and you'll be regaining his memory as for whatever reason, the man's lost it. I think the combat in this game is crazy though. Using literal plagues to take Take down the most abnormal looking monsters is too intriguing for me to shut down. I've just got to give it a go. And while the graphics aren't next generation level, that's not always required. Like the atmosphere they've managed to create looks super cool by itself. Number eight, The Alters, a psychological sci-fi game that has confused the hell out of me. There really isn't much revealed about this game, but oftentimes less is more. And in this case, that is most definitely true. Developed by the well-known 11-bit studios, The Alters is set on a lonely planet. And of course, like many story games, your choices matter a lot and determine your path completely. I want to know what that wheel is though, like that's where you live in this game? A giant unicycle wheel with shipping containers in the middle? If there was more revealed about this game, it'd no doubt be higher on the list I think, but there are just still so many uncertainties and that's where I'm a little on edge. I still think it looks really really good though, and I'm excited to see more. Number 7, Stray. Following the adventures of a literal cat, this one has me intrigued. I covered Stray in one of my previous videos, but it deserved to be here as well, especially as it's set to release in less than a month on July 19th. Your mission will be to get home, as the cat of course. The graphics are crazy looking, and I guess that's what you need when it's set in a literal cyber city. But the contrast of this super futuristic looking city, and then just a cat as the main character, is perfect. I can't describe it, but I just love the premise, and you bet I'll be trying to get this cat home. Blue 12 Studios have done a great job at making this look polished, but 
but obviously we won't really know how good it is until we get our hands on it, which isn't long now. Number six, Planet of Lana. Once again, a sci-fi game that comes in the form of a puzzle platformer. This one looks beautiful though. The only platformer I've played in years was, well, Flappy Bird, but this has me hooked. The art style is so good and on top of that, you won't be here to just get high scores. No, you'll be sent to discover an entire story. You'll cover multiple galaxies, environments, and probably run into numerous different creatures. The indie developers have done a great job with this, there's no doubt about it, but let's hope the story lives up to the graphics. And honestly, I have high hopes, which is why it's gotten sixth place. Before we get into the craziest looking game yet, consider subscribing because I make new game lists almost weekly. Number five, Scorn, an atmospheric FPS game with a hint of horror. In fact, it's actually entirely horror. Scorn throws you into a dreamlike world filled with abnormal things everywhere. The atmosphere is definitely the most freaky thing in this game, but the guns aren't far behind. Everything is just off-putting, like it's beautiful but ugly at the same time, which is probably exactly what they went for. One of Scorn's most notable features though is its full body awareness. Essentially, you take control of both hands and control it as if it were genuinely you. Ebb Software, the developers of this game, have done a really good job, and I think when it releases in three months on the 21st of October, it'll go down a treat with anyone interested in these mind-bending surreal games. Number four, Frostpunk 2. As a sequel to Frostpunk, this game can only be better, right? Well, I won't fall for that, but honestly, judging by the weird yet intriguing teasers we've seen so far, it appears that it won't disappoint. If you haven't played Frostpunk 1, this game is set in a world ravaged by cold and the icy weather makes it hard to do anything, yet it's your job to play as the leader of a faction effectively. Politics plays a large role in this game, ensuring you make the right decisions in order to please your people. There are also outside threats to combat, so keeping your people united will be pretty important. I'm hoping your choices actually matter in this game though, because having a good choice take no effect or feeling as if you aren't actually in control is all too common. We all know what that's like, but I do think Frostpunk 2, given its quality, will probably avoid this and likely be a good sequel to Frostpunk 1. Number 3, Hollow Knight Silk Song. The original Hollow Knight had one of the best review scores of all time, meaning the excitement for its follow-up game is no doubt going to be insane. Hollow Knight Silk Song will be about adventuring through a kingdom ruled by Silk and Song. You'll be solving mysteries, discovering new powers, and battling hordes of bugs in order to uncover ancient secrets. One of the many reasons Hollow Knight was so successful though was because of its smooth movement and unique storytelling, and of course combined with a weird looking world that you really can get lost in. Hopefully this sequel brings more of the same, but also ups the level a bit, and I have no doubt it probably will. If you haven't tried a 2D platformer in a while, then maybe this can be your time to make a return. Number two, Tainted Grail, The Fall of Avalon. The beautiful thumbnail of this video and possibly one of the most exciting games of this year. I love the look of this game. Everything about it just looks so damn exciting. This game is based entirely on your decisions. Of course, there are numerous quests to complete, a huge open world for you to explore, and lore. Lore is massive in this game. Essentially, you've taken the place of a previous king of Avalon as, um, yeah, he died. So you've got to battle plagues, keep people together, and save the island from anything that might want to hurt it. This game has some of the best looking graphics on this list though, the monsters especially. What I love is that they've taken fantasy and made it look almost realistic, which is not an easy task. Number one, Atomic Heart, the most wishlisted game of 2022, and that should say a lot. Many are saying that this game reminds them of Bioshock and Wolfenstein. It's almost fascinatingly horrific in a good way. Obviously, with games like these that look amazing, it's important to expect the worst and hope for the best. Anyways, Atomic Heart is an action RPG puzzle game set in 1955, based around a futuristic Soviet Union. There's nothing much to say, but this game does genuinely look so exciting. The movement looks smooth, the combat appears refreshing, and every single model and texture looks so polished. So when you combine all that with what will hopefully be high quality lore, then this is surely bound to be a hit game. 